Bismillah, walhamdulillah, wa salatu salam ala rasulillah. Continuing volume 2 of Riyadh Salihin, book number 17, the book of the prohibited actions. Chapter 263, prohibition of giving false testimony. Allah the Exalted says in surah number 22, verse number 30, of which the meaning is, and shun lying speech, false statement. Surah number 17, verse number 36, and follow not, O man, i.e., say not, or do not, or witness not that of which you have no knowledge. Surah number 50, verse number 18, not a word does he or she utter, but there is a watcher by him ready to record it. Surah number 89, verse 14, verily your Lord is ever watchful over them. And Surah number 25, verse number 72, and those who did not witness falsehood. Narrated Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu that Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Shall I not inform you of one of the gravest of the cardinal sins? We said, Yes, O Allah's Messenger. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, To join others as partners with Allah in worship and to be undutiful to one's parents. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam sat up from his reclining position in order to stress the importance of what he was going to say. And then he added, I warn you, making a false statement and giving a false testimony. I warn you against making a false statement and giving a false testimony. Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam kept on repeating this warning till we wished he should stop, as Bukhari and Muslim. The content of this hadith make, it, make the gravity of making a false statement abundantly clear. How unfortunate indeed it is that, like other major sins, the evil of giving false testimony is very common among the present-day Muslim. May Allah preserve us from it. Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Zakum Akhir.